Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to go ahead and talk about Bell Collective. Okay, so I didn't take a lot of notes. I just uh, rewatched the episode. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about <laughs> Bell Collective. All right, so, um, so Gucci and her daughter, they meet up. <sighs> so Gucci's daughter, I forgot her name, her and her baby daddy are having problems. Um, from what I gathered from what the daughter was saying, basically, I took it as though she was saying that they're trying to work it out, aka, we're trying to work it out for the baby, we're trying to stay together for the kid, you know. Um, I will say I'm a positive about this is even though her daughter is young, um, even though it's it, it looks as though she may be a single mother soon, um, she, it appears as if she has a very strong support system. It comes across um, as of now, uh, when this was shot, that So Gucci and her daughter have a close relationship um, it comes across as though they could be kind of like a Cynthia and Noel, where she's very comfortable telling her mother her personal business. Um, they come across, yes, this I'm the mother, she's the daughter, but we also have formed a friendship, you know. Um, so that's the good thing, that if the relationship with her child's father does not last, she has JJ, who comes across as someone who's a nice kind person he does and then you have so gucci she a mess <laughs> but you know so gucci it she comes across as though girl like she would be there for her daughter so that's the positive right we're gonna try to say positive today y'all know i got a lot more to say but i'm gonna leave it alone um shout out to her hopefully again if it doesn't work out it is what it is girl she uh, she has a support system um or it appears that she does um, so Gucci says that she handled the situation like a lady. <sighs> Listen, I ain't got no issue with nobody on this cast. Some of them get on my nerves more than others. Um, see, this is a problem, right? So the situation between So Gucci and Selena is, in my opinion, kind of complicated, but not really, but kind of, but not really. This is not like a Candace and Monique. This is not like a Kenya and Portia, where it was two enemies or two friends who kind of <laughs> it went left, and now it's like ground person charges. Girl, I ain't got to ever see. I ain't. I ain't got to never ever see you again in life. But that's not the situation. This is the stepmother, the mother girl a husband you know kids even though they're all grown it, it, it becomes very very like so i think one of you asked me would i have pressed charges i i don't know because again this situation is not like some regular smuggler situation where it's just two housewives or two people who met on the reality show and they got into a fight and now we're pressing charges that's completely different and completely understandable girl this situation it is different y'all so, you know, I'm not saying so Gucci shouldn't have pressed charges, but she has to realize what comes with that, right? You're not going to see your grandchild or your step-grandchild, whatever, whatever how, well the correct title is, but you're not going to see your grandchild. Um, those girls are only probably going to come around when you're not there. When you do walk in the house, they're probably going to be like, all right, daddy, we'll see you later. I want so Gucci to take some accountability and stop putting this on Latrice. I'm tired of hearing Latrice's name come up in this whole mess about the fight that happened with Selena. Uh, with Selena. That fight was between Selena and so Gucci, period, full stop. So Gucci even said out of her own mouth that Selena has come to her charity event before. I think she said several times, go back and watch it. So girl, that's what I'm saying. Like when you really start to break it down, 
That mess that happened between Selena and Sogucci was some TV mess. You got Sogucci who was turned up for the camera. You got Selena who want to be back in front of the camera. Okay? And y'all have been around, y'all have managed to be around each other for almost, what, two decades now? A very, very, very long time. I, I, I'm not going to say two decades, but what, a decade and a half, 15 years? Y'all have been around each other for a very, very, very long time. You've even participated, Selena has even participated in this lady's, you know, food, what was it, clothing drive, right? But now all of a sudden the cameras come, the cameras come up and now y'all get into a fight. And y'all, and then so Gucci want to blame Latrice. No. Now it's, oh, I need to teach my kids how to be a lady. Girl, well, some people will argue, girl, late being a late being being a lady is when you walk into a space, you speak. That could be the argument for some people. If we're gonna start this late lady, uh lady one on one. <laughs> okay. When it comes to that fight, I'm not no team Selena, I'm not no team So Gucci. I'm team both of them was wrong. Period. If you want to be mad at Latrice, be mad at Latrice for something else. Be mad at Latrice because, girl, you feel like, girl, she didn't do you right when y'all was doing y'all business, handling y'all business. But other than that, girl, leave Latrice's name out of that mess. Um, did y'all hear when the little daughter, the little daughter, did y'all hear when the daughter said, my mama uh, neglected me for y'all and y'all want to round with my mama now? Y'all hear when she said that? So at one point in time, so Gucci was an ain't shit mama. I mean, I think the daughter has already let us know that before. But I don't know if the daughter is fully over it or she's just going to let So Gucci know on the slick, girl, you wasn't there. For, you neglected me in order to be there for them. And quiet as this kept, I don't even think that she was, she neglected her children to be there for them. I think she neglected her children to be with JJ. And with her wanting to be with JJ, honey, she took on the kids. She put a man before her kids, basically. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Um, Akeisha and Latrice meet up. I like Akeisha. Akeisha don't never come across as messy. Like with her talking to Latrice, she basically told Latrice, look, I'm a married woman. I get it. I get stuff that other people don't get, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you need to talk to someone, you know, I, I, I can, you know, I'm here. And then Latrice says, well, girl, you need to talk to someone. I'm here, too. Girl, I don't know what's going on. I'm sure. Let me say something, girl. Listen, Willie and Akeisha have been together for a long time. Willie used to play football. We're not going to sit here and act like we would be surprised if we found out Willie was in them streets once upon a time. I don't know too many athletes, okay? That girl just walk a straight line. However, with that being said, what I'm saying now is Willie ain't on our TV screens that much, but so far, so good, right? Um, so, and again, you know, <laughs> so good, uh, Akeisha, Akeisha never really comes across as messy, right? I think she takes her digs at Latrice. I mean, I think she takes her digs at Tambra, and I think she takes her digs at Leticia, <laughs> right? Don't let her start talking about Ferris Street and start and her start talking about money. She don't let it be known that she put the money behind. She put the money behind her money. Well, she she had the mouth in the money. Is that how you say it? Put my money where your mouth is. Yeah, that's what she, that's how you say it. Um, I put the charity event. Selena and the kids have participated before. Girl, they're a mess. Selena and Sagucci a mess. Um. Latrice and Cliff. I don't know. Latrice says that she is self-made and she has handled her business without Cliff. 
I remember So Gucci, I think, saying that, didn't it? Wasn't it So Gucci? It was somebody who said that I guess she got the money from Cliff to start up her business. I don't know. I remember hearing somebody make a comment some somewhere along those lines about Latrice's business. I don't know. The way that Cliff acts, you would swear, like, I'm really trying to watch my mouth because one of y'all said when I'd be talking about Cliff, it come across as mean. <laughs> I think Cliff is a mess. And I think what has now happened with Latrice and with Cliff, it's Carlos is King's worst nightmare. You now have this woman who has now gotten, who has now received a shot to be on a reality TV show, and she started to find her voice. She's starting to look at herself on TV, and she's starting to see, oh my God, girl, I look like a goddamn fool. And my husband, Loki, treats me like his child. And so now Latrice is starting to come into her own, and how she entered the marriage is now how she wants to continue the marriage. She wants to go back to the drawing board. She wants to renegotiate how they both appear in their marriage. It's no longer, I'm just this little girl and you're my zaddy. I want to be looked at as your equal. I want to be looked at as your partner. I don't know how that's going to work because Cliff has told her straight up to her fucking face, that girl, you will never be my equal. So I don't know what, what Latrice is going to do. She did say later in a conversation with her mother that she was going to stop calling him Zaddy. And I have to be honest, girl, it's partly her. Like she said, I can't even put it all on Cliff. And she can't because you walked into this relationship, girl, looking for your daddy because your real daddy wasn't in the picture. And you started calling this man Zaddy. And he started treating you like his child. And now here we are. And you want to you wanna go back and renegotiate the terms of your marriage. And Cliff not going to go for it. I don't know what Latrice and Cliff going to do. I do think that Cliff is a hot-ass mess. And Latrice needs to tell him straight up to his face, look, you ain't have shit to do with my business. You ain't got shit to do with my business now. You acting like I went out there and bought a house without, your, without, without, without consulting with you. Girl, what I do with my business is my business. My business has nothing to do with you unless it does and we just don't know it. I didn't go buy a house. <laughs> Girl, I didn't even go buy a car. I signed a I signed a contract that had to do with my business. Period. And I don't need to discuss anything with you that has to do with my business, a business that I am the one who I've been in control of this. I didn't have your help from the get-go. So what, why do I need to consult with you now? Anyways, um, I, I'm, that's it for Latrice and Cliff. You know, she said she's not going to call him daddy no more. Um, and, you know, he had her crying at the restaurant because, I mean, I guess she hurt his feelings. I mean, he hurt her feelings saying that it was going to come back to bite her in the ass. See, that's the problem. This is the problem. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to say it. This is the problem. Whenever you show up in these relationships and you act like a dumb fool, <laughs> anytime y'all show up in these relationships and you act like you're stupid, dumb, and slow, then that's how you'll be treated. So because Latrice has been walking around here, even though she's very smart, even though she's very capable, she appears in her marriage as if she needs she don't know. So now her husband treats her as such, like a dummy. And now treat, Latrice doesn't want to be treated like a dummy anymore. <laughs> and Cliff not going to go for it because you don't know no better. And anytime you sign a contract, you need to get with me because I'm smarter than you. Even though Latrice says I've handled my business without you. So I don't know what Latrice going to do. It is what it is. If she stay with the nigga, she stay with the nigga. If she don't, she don't. Um, Marie and Letitia. Marie got on my nerves. Marie gets on my nerves. 
Marie, what is your problem? <laughs> girl, what? <laughs> Letitia, girl. So Letitia is outside doing an interview with a local news station, right? Probably a little two, three, two, three minute segment for the local news. And I love, I love the way Latrice, not Latrice, I love the way Letitia sold her brunch. I love the way she was speaking. Um, but anyways, um, Marie pops up. I'm not going to say she pops up, but Marie stops by and her and Letitia have a conversation. Letitia wants Latrice and Marie to be a part of a panel. Marie feels some type of way because she feels like, why, why would you dare ask me to be a part? Like, Marie, girl, in real life, girl, you and Latrice probably not even going to speak to each other, right? Marie is basically upset because she feels as though, girl, I, I feel like we're going back to season one. All I'm going to say is this. Correct me if I'm wrong. The person who came for someone's business first, from what I remember, was Marie going after Latrice's business on TV. With the whole wig stuff showing up to the brunch, dressed, dressed as Lil Bo Peep. Y'all remember that season one? And it's a mess kicked up after, kicked up after that. I don't think Latrice, I think from what some of y'all explained to me, Latrice knew of this person who was, I guess, potentially going to go after Marie, and she basically didn't put a stop to it. So I think the person was going to try to go after, I guess, a few people. I can't remember, and I really don't even give a fuck, honestly. Um, but I think a few. I think the person was going to go after a few people on the cast, and Latrice was like, "Don't, don't do nothing to Letitia." Don't do nothing to so-and-so, but if you want to do it to the other person, I really don't give a damn. It was something like that, I think. And and because Marie took it as though Latrice had something to do with it, when I don't think Latrice had something to do with it, I just think that she didn't give a damn if the person did whatever that was going to do to Marie, if that makes sense. Um, But I guess Latrice lied about something, and I guess... Marie wanted Letitia to apologize for believing Latrice. Girl, I said, Marie, you sound psychotic. Girl, did I get the story right? I don't know, girl. That's what I I don't even remember. Girl. I don't even, like, why are we even talking about season one? But I feel like that's where it stems from. I don't know, and I don't care. Um, but my, Letitia starts crying. She gives, she apologizes to Marie. I don't even think Letitia knew what she was, uh, what she was apologizing for. I'm, a, I'm assuming because I believe Latrice. That's why I'm apologizing. Girl. Um, and that was pretty much the end of that, girl. Um, Marie don't have nothing else going on this season but kicking up mess. I guess I'm okay with it, but I just want, if you're going to be a messy girl, like, at least let the mess make sense. It's kind of like Marlo. If you're going to be messy, at least let the dirt you kick up. <laughs> like, girl. And I just feel like the stuff that Marie has been, 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 grasping for this season it's like she's really like she's really reaching um and then Letitia and Latrice have a conversation listen this might be a case of right uh right message wrong messenger so this is this, this I have a lot to say Letitia is not telling a lie when she says basically long story short Girl, our niggas might cut up and act a fool, but girl, they're not going around here talking to the other ladies crazy, right? Which then it starts up the conversation, girl. Did you hear what Cliff said to Letitia the other day? Did you hear what Cliff said to so? You see what I'm saying? It, that That's when it starts to become a problem. It's bad whether your husband talked to you, or wife talked to you, girl, rough and private, or in public but we know that when it's done publicly it kind of takes it to a whole nother level and then when you start to kind of talk to your friends your your, hus your wife's friends kind of grimy then it starts that goes to another level too you know um i'm gonna give Letitia this one thing i will give miss thing is she don't she let glenn treat her like shit she do girl <laughs> But, girl, she don't never let Glenn just sit there and talk to her crazy. Letitia going to open up her mouth. 
and she gonna and she gonna keep talking and she gonna say what the hell she got to say until the conversation is done. Latrice don't do that. Latrice, Latrice gonna break down, start crying, start shaking, start fidgeting. Girl grabbing her hair, girl twisting her hair, getting nervous because girl, she is. This is her daddy. This is her daddy talking to her. This is her daddy punishing her, right? So I can't speak back to my daddy, right? Letitia, on the other hand, girl, Glenn caught her with some bullshit, girl, the shit gonna get to popping. And Letitia gonna say whatever the hell she needs to say, and then, girl, we're gonna hang up this phone. So I give Letitia that much. She ain't gonna let Glenn just talk to her crazy, okay? Um, but at the end of the day, it's kind of like, girl, you know, your husband. Your marriage is a topic of the conversation amongst the group because, girl, look how your husband coming to the group. Girl, we meet up last time, girl. He low-key cussed me out. You think that we're not going to talk about that? So, girl, if he talking to me like that, and, girl, we know how he talking to you, then, girl, how? Well, we think we know how he talking to you, girl. How is he talking to you at the house? <sighs> the tree starts crying. I mean, girl, I don't know what you're going to do, but you have to do something because I don't know, girl. These, these y'all marriages, honey. Y'all say for better or for worse. Girl, black love. I don't know, girl. Um, yeah. But yeah, I was I was with Letitia. I understood what Letitia was saying, but girl, quiet as it's kept, girl, if Latrice wanted to deflect and girl, start bringing up Letitia and Glendale's relationship, girl. That's what I'm saying. Like Letitia really ain't got nothing to stand on because, girl, <laughs> you acting like you married to Russell Wilson, girl, and you are not, girl. You ever you married to Barack Obama, girl? You are not, girl. You're not, girl. As far as I'm concerned, girl, you married to Pookie, and girl, Latrice married to Pookie's little brother, <laughs> older brother, <laughs> okay. Both the same nigga. They just, they just, they, 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 they waves are just, they both trifling as hell. It's just that girl, your husband out here sticking his penis in raw vagina, possibly having babies, and then her husband over here cussing her out. <laughs> Hello? Like, neither one of y'all ain't got no room to talk, but girl, if we go, I guess if we gonna start throwing digs at each other's husband, then girl, let's go. Because neither one of our husbands really ain't shit at the end of the day if you really want to just be honest about it. Girl, hello. Girl, about the only one who can probably do a little bit talking is goddamn Akisha and Sogucci. They're about the only two on the show. <laughs> okay? Anyways. All right, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.